Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Dini. Welcome on this beautiful 8th November, my dad's birthday in heaven. But I'm going to look into the Bitcoin price, of course, for you guys on this day. Let's take a quick jump into the charts to show you what is happening in Bitcoin and what could happen in the future. Uh, we have a very happy, 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 happy fellow over here. You want to say hi? There is hi. Hello. We say hello. <laughs> he said hello, guys. Let's jump into the charts. There. How soon is too soon? say like you see on the four hour chart i told you guys we are having uh, this consolidation in the triangle and we will probably break out and the level would be 72k and um, that would be the reason for those 10k candles 10k day candles um this is already a big candle uh, it can become bigger because the target should be 72k of that breakout really cool chart next one over is my face on the right place no of course not. look where your face is did your face is all the way up there it needs to be over that's okay now and next chart. then this is the uh, day chart on the day chart you can see the yellow line the yellow line is the 2017 fractal this is how bitcoin moved since june 2017 look we are moving almost the same the only thing we are missing is now this huge pump all the way up to 73 which is also showing in the charts before and yes then we can have a small correction and of course another pump um, all the way above 150k if it is up to 2017 in the rsi you see this consolidation phase same over here same over here and the breakout should lead to uh, above the level of 70 that is also dealt with bam next shot this one i just shared on twitter because people are asking me when shall i buy or sell my bitcoins when do we need to sell when is the top when do sell bitcoins uh, just to give you an indication of course i think you can sell your bitcoins somewhere at the top of course to buy bitcoins back cheaper and to multiply your bitcoins like that i think that is the question they are asking how can i get more bitcoins just to sell the top and to buy the bottom but nobody will be able to exactly sell the top and to exactly buy the bottom to just be happy with the profits you're making but if you zoom out a little bit more and also realize that in another four years that will be 2025 this peak that you see here now in 2021 will look exactly like the peak now in 2017 and you all remember how 2017 looked at that moment that peak in 2017 looked like 2021 it was a huge peak this one still needs to extend to above 100k but still this whole huge hill bull run peak will look like 2017 in 2025 so for me yes there is a game to multiply my bitcoins by selling uh, at the top and buying at the bottom but um, I'm more focused on accumulating more Bitcoin every day. That's why I'm saying zoom out, don't sell Bitcoin, but sell all your fiat and buy Bitcoin. That is a trick. Guys, bam, here, this is um, a post that I did today because of my father. Uh, happy birthday, dad, um, 67. He's not here to celebrate it with us, but I, I learned a lot from my dad. And I guess the only thing that I could say now was thank you, of course, for all the lessons and um, the most important part of this one is this i will lead by example in the same way to my kids and teach them that by finding their passion and following their dreams they can reach way more in life than memorizing book in schools schools where they will be brainwashed to become part of the 90 percent that at the moment is letting the world be led into slavery i really think that i think kids should be led by example by their parents to be able to change the world guys um next chart over here this is the bitcoin mvrvzz score um, this one is telling us if bitcoin is overheated the price or not uh, overvalued i should say or not um, we are not overvalued we are here in the middle um, around 3.7 and we need to be in this pinkish box that is from seven to eight that area um, to be overvalued and that is the moment that the top of the bull market will be reached like you can see in the past do we have anything others yes we have one more chart and that will be 
Um, this one over here, um, I really like that. I found it again on Twitter and again, yes, on TechDev, but yeah, the guy is just creating cool charts. Um, what is this chart showing me? This chart is showing me the 2013 bull run over here on the left side. And we can see the levels of Fibonacci 1.2, 1.6, 2.7, uh, 2.27. Then we see 2017. We see the same structure, 1.272, 1.6, and then 2.272. Um, and now we look at 2021 on the right. And we can see 1.272, 1.618. We are missing the 2.272, which could be around 200k. But again, I would be happy with 130k as well. But it's just comparing the moment where we are on the charts, if you look back in history and do the Fibonacci levels on those charts. That is really cool to see that we always reach the level of 2.272. So, hmm, really cool chart. Guys, that was everything for today. Bam, I need to do some stuff today and I will do some family stuff, of course, today. So um, I hope you really enjoyed the short TA update. If you did enjoy it, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to read them and always um, comment to them as well if I have the time. Uh, remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and try to zoom in a life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Always believe in the Bitcoin revolution. Bam.